Mr. Alan Kruger, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I took this photo uh, about a week ago at Port Everglades, one of the larger ports in the US, not as big as Houston, but one of the larger ports. Uh, I took it in the morning, but it, it serves pretty well for thinking about the twilight of globalization. I'm going to argue we are at an inflection point. We've had extraordinarily rapid rise in integration of, world econ of, of, of countries across the world, not only economically, but also in terms of uh, culture, um, language. And I think there are many reasons that fed this exponential growth. I think it's natural that that growth path will slow down. And I am concerned that it will change rather abruptly. Oh, I should also mention, when I was given this, this, this assignment to think about the end of globalization, I was reminded of what John Maynard Keynes wrote in his classic 1920 book, The Economic Consequences of the Peace, where Keynes looked back wistfully at an earlier pre-World War I period when he said, an ordinary Englishman sitting in his bed in London, still wearing his pajamas, can drink his morning tea, and on the telephone, order commodities from any place in the world, make an investment from any place in the world, and read a newspaper from any place in the world. Now, global trade collapsed after World War I. The world was highly integrated before, and I think that's a reminder that politics matters enormously when we think about globalization. I think we have a very long way to go 